now that you're in the building with actual colours on? Yeah, actually, um, finally sunk in that I'm here and really excited and, and wrapped. So I think the colours really look uh, really good on me. And yeah, hopefully walking around the joint here and meeting a few players already and um, staff. So, you know, very, very good. Do you know many of the people here already? Oh, yeah, I've obviously played a few. I've played footy with a few of these players, uh, players already. Um, I was Tom Barras, he was my captain on that Claremont. I've played with Jake, he's a Claremont boy. Uh, Josh Rotham played. Played with and against him, um, played against uh, Alex Witherden, went to school with Willie Rioli for a year, the so now there's some familiar faces here that i um, already confident. So it makes, makes you feel really comfortable? Oh yeah, yeah, 100% yeah. and hopefully, you know, good mates I had previously as well, so um, just that connection and uh, more comfortable on, in knowing these guys before um, helped me move and uh, settle in a bit quicker, so it's good. And where do you see yourself settling into the team? What sort of position are you eyeing off? Yeah, so the bar, I think hopefully when I sit down with the coaches, um, but yeah, I have an idea of where I'll be playing um, the footy that I want to be playing, and I really want to be playing my best footy, and you know, hopefully that's through the midfield forward, and you know, probably more mid um, if I'm lucky. So um, hopefully that role and um, get get settling in there into that's the place. Oh, that's the position that where I can play my best footy yeah, for the team. Who are you looking forward to playing with most? I think everyone. I think, yeah, to be honest, just really to build that chemistry um, quick and I think what will allow me to do that is just get some consistency and um, having a full pre-season with these guys and, um, uh, yeah, I guess just, just train with them. A lot of midfielders who come here, they, they look at Nick Nat and be like, I can't wait to so just sit underneath him. And oh, yeah. No, I think perhaps. Nick Nat's been an amazing crew, uh, amazing ruckman for the, for the whole AFL and his team and I think you know, for me to be rocking, uh, you know, roving against uh, with him, it'd be something to look forward to, and you know, hopefully get a bit of highlights out of it in my career. So um, now I'm really looking forward to be working with him. The question marks surrounding you and your ability to play midfield throughout the whole career has been on your fitness. Um, do you think that you'll be that you can get your fitness levels up to the requirement to be a full-time midfielder? Yeah, and that's the plan. You know, hopefully coming over here with a fresh start would allow me to probably you know play. Uh, uh, play mid and I think you know my fitness isn't a really worry it's just more about that um, sh uh, sort of like that repeat effort side of things and you know I'm okay with covering the ground it's just more um, how can I get better and improving my fitness with uh, more shorter sharper stuff. Has that always been a challenge for you to being able to have that part of your game? Yeah and I think you know just if we come down with the mindset and work right to, to train it and and now I'm here I think I don't know I'm here but it's more yeah, like you know, the more I train it, where I can improve it to upskill my game. So a lot of people look at you and they see so much potential and upside there. On, on reflection, why do you think you, you didn't achieve that at Carlton? Like, what sort of held you back well, during your time there? Yeah, during my time at Carlton, I really enjoyed it. You know, I'm grateful for them to to be uh, be a part of that club in, in the past now. And I think it was just more around consistency and I think um, having to be thrown around in multiple positions and not settling in at a, at a permanent role at the club. Um, and I think that probably went away for me to, to play that um, consistent footy and um, showing my potential that I have. So, But here I'm um, yeah, really looking forward to settling pretty quick. You come here now, obviously taking a pick six, a high draft pick <coughs> five years ago, but you come here with that all in the past. Do you feel like that's a lot of pressure off you Personally, that you can just sort of find your role in this team and, and play the way you want to play. Oh yeah, I think and um, knowing that the coaching and the playing group would um, allow me to you know, play my best footy. I think just coming over here is, I think, five years in the system. You know, I know what, sort of what it takes and how my body works, and um, you know, the more I can give my knowledge to to these guys and um, and I get the work and the help of the coaches, you know, to allow me to play some good footy in this team, and um, it's something that I'm really looking forward to. Closer to family now as well. That must be good. Yeah, hundred percent. Lovely. Uh, parents are, are family up from Horns Creek. You know, rarely make it to Melbourne. It's a massive trip for them. But yeah, being here in Melbourne, I'm um, here in Perth. It's something you know that I can really settle back in my home state, and you know they can come watch me, come watch me play a bit. And yeah, and I'm really looking forward to heading up there in the next couple of weeks just to help promote the community in the town with getting vaccinated. So you know, I'm doing my part in that area. Um, helping the community out is something that I'm looking forward to. When was the last time you actually got home, given the way that the borders have been? Yeah, oh, I haven't seen my family for, uh, um, I think, just over a year now. So, um, 
in a, yeah, quite a while, but um, knowing I'm back in my home state now, I can you know hopefully get a chance to see them a couple of times a year. And what was it like being such a high draft pick all those years ago? Taking me back here a couple of years <laughs> now. Um, no, I think it's just um, yeah, probably at that time I was just playing some good footy, and hopefully you know at the time I was came down from Halls Creek to you know hopefully try to live out my childhood dream is to get drafted and um, you know. For them to rate me pretty highly at that, that age is, you know, it was probably why I'm in, in this position at the moment. So, um, no, it's something to look, look back on and be proud of. But then again, it's just a number of, you know, you get drafted and it's whether you put in the work once you get drafted. So, yeah. A lot of players, I guess, they speak about the pressure that's associated with being a high draft pick. How much did you feel that during your, your days there? Yeah, uh, to be honest, I reckon I haven't really feel that. Um, that worried about it. To be honest, I think it's just like I said earlier. It's just like draft because it's just a number. But um, you know, for me, I really, really thought about you know the reason I'm a number six draft pick in that year. But it's just trying to really play play some game of footy and um, try and make those games pretty uh, count pretty quick as well. So so when, you know I can make my games count here as well. Did the instability at Carlton impact you and all the off off field stuff with all the board stuff and? The coaching changes and all that sort of stuff. Was it difficult for you trying to play with all that going on in the background? Nah, I wouldn't say it affected me as, I think just having to witness it and feel it um, beforehand when obviously my first coach, um, Ben Bolton, who went through that same position and, and obviously having to having a new coach then David T came along. Um, sort of, it was like I felt that before and so I didn't really worry about it. I didn't say worried, it was just more about that same feelings coming back from previous did you have a chat to Michael Voss at all after he was um, came in before the decision to come back in? No, it's more after. Like it's only like just recently he just called and fortunately, yeah, my decision was no, we couldn't change any decisions. So I was like, but yeah, he did actually had a chat to me and just tried to get me to know me as a person, I guess. But yeah, had a chat to him and that was good. Sam, so just the conversations with um, Adam Simpson as to, I guess, what really sort of enticed you and made you looking forward to coming to the Eagles? Yeah, I think I've had a chat to Sim a couple of times now leading into this process and, yeah, I think I just spoke more around about <clears throat> just coming over to a great club and I think it is, you know, and, and the people and that they have in this organisation is you know, something to um, look forward to and I think it's just the playing group they have and, and the style they play just really uh, attract me and I guess made my decision to come back. And um, just back on the, the draft amenities coming up, what advice would you have for some of the guys that might get taken early in the draft as a, a former high draft pick? Yeah, I think just enjoy it, obviously. Um, you know, you, you should thank your parents first of all, I think. <laughs> I think, um, no, just enjoy the moment, I think. You know, whether you do get picked up or not, but it's just... I think just embrace it and enjoy the moment.